Hello guys, it's me again and welcome back to another tech video. This week I'm going to be talking about how to create a Hackintosh and my experience with a Hackintosh so far. So to start off, you're going to need to make sure you have compatible hardware. So the main item that you want to worry about is the motherboard. A great place to check uh, compatible hardware is Tony Mac x86 and this is especially a good place to find a compatible motherboard you can also find uh, this link and any other links that I have uh, in the description below uh, next is the CPU this is pretty straightforward because if the motherboard is compatible then probably the CPU that fits in the motherboard will work so basically any Intel CPU will work except for the new KB Lake ones which are currently not quite really supported unless you do uh, some fixes which I cannot guarantee will work. A note here is uh, while it is possible to build a Hackintosh with an AMD CPU, it is very difficult and I highly recommend that you don't do that. The next thing is the graphics card. This is optional as you can use Intel integrated graphics. On the Nvidia side, uh, most graphics cards will work except for the 1000 series which is not yet supported. Many AMD graphics cards will also work. I'll uh, add a link in the description for an AMD graphics card compatibility list. For Wi-Fi, you will need a special M.2 card. Uh, for Bluetooth, you should get the same M.2 card, but for uh, Bluetooth, the Bluetooth card that came with my motherboard actually worked after I installed drivers in Windows. Yes, Windows, I don't know why this worked, but it did work, so yeah. For the remaining parts, such as the RAM, power supply, SSD, and any hard drive, uh, those all should just about work. Anything will work for those. If you have any questions about compatibility, leave a comment below or go to reddit r slash hackintosh, great community there. The next part of the video will be about the installation of this on the software side and actually installing macOS. Quick tip before we begin is that some of these installs will be quite nerve-wracking. Just trust the guides as they're pretty good. Now there are multiple ways of making a Hackintosh, but the easiest is uh, with Multibeast and Unibeast. Uh, you will need a flash drive, Multibeast and Unibeast, which you can find on TonyMacX86.com, and you will need an existing Mac. If you can't get your hands on an existing Mac, you can use a virtual machine to create a bootable USB. I'm going. I'm not going to go over the whole installation process in this video, but you can find the guide I used on TonyMacX86.com, which is pretty easy to follow. But there are a few notes that I want to say on the installation process, and one is that the guide on step 13, you're meant to remove the USB and boot to the drive that you installed macOS on and not boot to the USB drive. And number two on Multibase is you should try to use install as few drivers as possible. If you have made it this far, you did it, but you're not really done. So some things will probably not work yet. The first is messages. To fix messages, follow the link in the description to a great guide that I used. Um, another problem uh, is the audio setup for a lot of people will not work. I'll also post a link in the description below for that. Also, sleep can be a little tricky. If you have an AMD graphics card, it won't work at all. But if you don't have an AMD graphics card, you'll have to do some fixing to get that to work. I also have an issue where it replicates UEFI boot options in the BIOS, but uh, a uh, BIOS Flash seems to have fixed this for me. So now you're actually done. You have a Hackintosh. Good job. Uh, one last thing is that updating is not as easy as it is on a Mac. To update, you're going to have to do some research and make sure it, uh, the update will work properly as sometimes it can break. Okay, conclusion time. Overall, I don't think Hackintoshing is too hard as, as long as you're willing to give it time and do some research, it's, you can do it. If you have, uh, if you like macOS and you like to build computers and in general tinker with computers, I highly recommend a Hackintosh. I also recommend that you have a plan B uh, just in case if something breaks. For example, I have a, as a backup, I have a MacBook Pro which I can use if something goes wrong. In the end, I love my Hackintosh and I use it daily. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description below or go to reddit r slash hackintosh. They have a great 
community there. And also subscribe so I see you next time on Damn Random Videos.